DOI Minister Tim Crookle is with us today, and uh, it's Thursday before the big TT thing. Uh, but I need to go back, first of all, uh, House of Keys. A lot of questions about the buses, and we have constantly been hearing about these cancellations, the pressure, then they're made available for the cruises and all that sort of thing, and your relationship with the private sector. So many different things there. But is there an issue with the buses? I mean, why are there being so many cancellations? I mean, as I said in Keys on Tuesday, you know, we, we've got positions that have never been filled or haven't been filled for years for whatever reason there's a shortage for people looking for jobs at the moment in that certainly in the job in the driving industry mm. uh, and also we've got a, a long list of sick at the moment so it's very unfortunate but I'm really really hopeful that uh, those numbers will come down uh, very shortly and we'll be able to provide as I said again on Tuesday mm. you know a full, if not a full service as near enough a full fuller service as we can for the TT period. You did indicate those potentially that some people just wanted to work their shift and they're totally entitled to do that. I mean, they're on contracts that say you work this and that and they didn't want to work anymore. Is, is, is that sort of old contracts being new contract issues that are going on? Yeah, it's, it's not versus. It's just a case of, you know, as I said again on Tuesday, a lot of the drivers have done a lot of hours over the last two weeks, over the last two years, sorry, mm. you know, covering for their colleagues and things and, you know, one thing after another and, you know, with some being sick and some jobs not being filled when those have left or whatever, you know, they are absolutely worn out at the moment and, you know, say they are taking their, their breaks as and when they can. And I'm hopeful that this weekend, you know, as we go back into the TT fortnight, that uh, you know, the numbers will come back up again. Well, that's what, obviously, the main thing is, yeah. what sort of service are you going to be able to provide? Because I think more people might use the buses than normal, in, in general, because of the fact it's easier to get to work. Very much so, and we are confident, and we are confident that, you know, as, as I said, the drivers, if they can, they will come back, and we, will, we always have a new service around for TT, um, and we'll make sure that we provide the, the routes to the busy places, you know, as 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 best we can, Paul. Mm. It's kind of wing the prayer. Well, it is, of course, it's a wing and a prayer because it's out of our hands. If people are sick, they're sick, and you know, we're just hoping a they get better and b they come back to work as soon as possible. Obviously, it's nice to be able to track where the buses are, and I know we had a fantastic system. Then it went. Now the, it's not an app; it's it's actually a web page. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. W will you get that to what is now almost? everywhere else has it, that you can actually just know where that bus is and know you're guaranteed it's going to turn up mm -hmm. without having to go through web pages, which just sounds a bit old, well not old fashioned, but just unusual when you, everyone's got an app these days. Right, so is this, is this a complaint? I'm not feeling... Well, yeah, you know. I suppose I'm just saying, it was, we had it all, didn't we? There was an app, and then yeah. it went, so then there was another app, and then that didn't... Are we going to get a, a service where people are going to be able to find out exactly without necessarily fumbling through web pages to, to get there. Yeah, ho hopefully so. I mean, I've, we've not had any complaints. That's why I asked you if it's a complaint, because we've not had any complaints back. So if you're telling me there's something wrong with it, well, I'll we'll certainly have a look at it. Well, it's not an app, that's all. Okay, <laughs> right, we'll let's not okay. get stuck on this. But okay, okay. It's something that we had and okay. then we lost it. Right, okay. Right, obviously, while well, I've got you here, the prom. Yes. I mean, they're doing a lot of tarmacking up down there at the minute, aren't they? Uh, that down by Broadway, Broadway. At, the end, at the end of the tram tracks. They promised me they would do, the, you know, pull out all the stops to try and tidy that area up before TT. Obviously, they've got a couple of days. You know, they've said that by Friday they'll pull out of there. So the tracks are down now. The points are in. Um, I think they're putting the surface in in the next couple of days. And then they'll, by Friday night, they'll pull away from there. The fencing will all be down and, you know, We've got that surface then back for the next two weeks, certainly. So it's just purely patching it up. I mean, it's just to make it look aesthetically okay. To please Charles Gard and his, his Well, it's not video. to please Charles Gard. It's to make sure the job's done, you know, as they said they would do it. And hopefully, as soon as that TT is done, we'll, we'll have the, the, tram, uh, the trams running up and down there in training, mm -hmm. ready for, and I said, you know, the end of July... Um, and it may well be before, but uh, may well, certainly... You're still hoping for service, aren't you? Ab absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. You weren't sure, to be honest. Well, I wasn't, and then, as I said, we had that meeting on site, and promises were made, and people undertook to make sure that certain works were done, mm -hmm. you know, which gave me the, you know, the confidence to say that uh, I'm still 90%, I suppose, hopeful now that, uh, that the shams mm -hmm. will run sort of towards the end of July. Well, thanks to Frank who, who sent the, well, he put it out on, on social media, of course, so everyone's seen it. There, there was an issue with the tram trying to get around that curve. Yes. It looked like it got stuck, or but there was a lot of pushing going on. Mm -hmm. And when I had looked look down there myself, it looked like it, it was 
anyway, they weren't, what's, they weren't. What's, the, what's the, is it going to be okay? Yes, yes, as far as I know, I call it the corner, you call it a curve, but uh, yeah, it, it, will be, it will be okay. It's, it's I mean, it's now, not that ultimate thing where they literally, it won't go around it and you have to start No, they, they were fixing the width, the gauge of the tracks and things, and there's, that's, that was right on the points, and yeah. so they've, they've, any issues that were there now, hopefully touch wood, they've, they're all sorted, the inspector's been over this week, last week, um, and he said they're good to tra train the horses on it, and so... Yeah. Uh, let's go back to the, the Charles Gar video only because I haven't seen you since it's went up and it's got obviously a lot of a lot of traction. Um, was it fair? Was it was it a bit out of context? How do you describe? It? I mean, what what you saw there? No, of course it's fair. It's there. Yeah, we, we, it, it served as a reminder to us, you know, what we haven't done and what we've neglected, if you like. And you know, and we and I've had meetings with Douglas Corporation since then, and you know, you know, they were involved as well. And I'm, I'm not pointing fingers at anybody, but it was a reminder to all of us. And there's mm -hmm. other places around the island that we know about. And as I say we're playing catch up. And you know, this is why I've said recently that you know we need to get back to basic maintenance. And we've lost out over the last two years, um, and we've done certain things, but a lot of stuff hasn't been done. Uh, and my intention is now is to get back out there as soon as possible and catch up. You mentioned about this list, it's quite interesting in, in House of Keys that things get put on it, but it's like mm -hmm. 158 down or something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is, is that sort of list? I mean, Moscow. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a long list, and with the app, where the app where people can phone in and report, or report message, a message, message in and Is that still working? That yeah, yeah, yeah. That was and great. Report a problem, that was and good. you know. Yeah. That, those go on those lists to be done. So, and obviously, there's a list. Of, there's a priority there. And so, mm -hmm. if it's dangerous, it goes to the top. And if not, you know, they get around to doing it as and when they can. How are you finding this job? Tiring. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I, am. Okay. I, I, enjoy, I enjoy it. You know, it's, it's the poison it's chalice. Tiring. One of the minerals. Isn't it? I, 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 everybody keeps saying it's the poison chalice. It's a busy job, but they're all busy jobs. Mine is more in the public domain than uh, some of the others. You know, but it's they're all busy jobs. Yeah, you know, we're all busy across government at the moment. MHKs, staff. Yeah, you know, we're all busy. When are we going to go to Liverpool and have a look at the uh, the new landing stage? We have, by the way, we have tried this. It's not been possible yet. We were we have close I, to going. As you know, I, I, you've, you've been enough. on your own. I went with yeah. the chief minister and we yeah. had a look. But probably after TT, um, things have moved on quite a quick pace over the last couple of months, or certainly since yeah, since yeah. Christmas. Um, so probably after TT, we'll go back and have a look and see. When would you know if it's going to be available for TT? Will it be a very last minute thing? No, it won't be last minute. Uh, you really I'm, want it for I'm tempted days. to say towards the end of the summer period. So, you know, this summer? Yeah, we'll, know, we'll, we'll have a good idea then of, of where we are um, because, you know, they're doing a lot of the cladding on the building itself now. The glass is going in and all sorts. So hopefully, I think it's, I think it's September. They hope to have it totally enclosed mm -hmm. um, so they can crack on inside. Um, and there's still some works going on the outside. But I think by the end of, end of the summer, we'll have a really good idea because obviously the, the Steam Packets new boat will be here, ship will be here early in the new year. Yeah. And they'll want to crack on and get some sea trials done too with all three vessels. Okay. I will look forward to booking our way day to Liverpool sometime soon then. You're paying, eh? <laughs> I pay my own way as usual. Good man, you do. You um, do. Let's finish with the TT again. Um, obviously, that is your priority. That must be the number one on your little list, I'm guessing, to have that road absolutely in tip top condition, the circuit. Yeah. yeah. Are you happy with where you are and all the, all the things? Is, is there anything that we should know about I'm happy it's yes. been signed off so you know the how do they do that how do, how do they sign off on it the director of highways actually signs it off but I mean it's yeah. it's done with in conjunction with the motorsport team and the ACU guys and the clerk of the course and that so everybody's had a good look at it and stuff so they've all agreed they're happy um, uh, yeah it's looking good and we've had comments back from the riders and a lot of locals as well saying you know it's looking good and it's going to get better for the rest of the roads eventually, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, that, that's always thrown back at us. You know, it's all very well for the, you know, 30, 70 quarter yeah. miles. Well, you know when you're on the TT course, don't you? Yeah, when you, absolutely. When you come off it. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, and there are still parts of the TT course that aren't as good as other parts of the TT course. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of other places around the island, you know, that need to be brought up to standard. Yeah, you know, and we know they're below standard. So, as I said just now, mm -hmm. we'll work on bringing those up to standard. Obviously, you know. We use contractors to do a lot of the work because we haven't got the workforce to do some of those big jobs ourselves. But uh, we'll work with those and with our own work for workforce to do a, a good job. Okay, and, and feel free to download the app. Report a problem, isn't it? It's called. Cool. Yes, it's still there. Is it still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good because I did it once. Actually, I think I th actually, there's Notify IM as well. There's, there's two. Yeah, two yeah Notify IM. Look it up. But yeah. it's definitely worth. They do. They do work, out. and they do get. You know, you get your receipt back yeah. from them, and they do do the jobs as and when they can. Get around to it. Yes. Mm -hmm.